Hey guys, I was in the middle of making a video on replacing the clutch on my pocket bike here. This is a little 47cc two-stroke uh, pocket bike, a uh, Cagliari pocket bike. And I got thinking, well, let's make a video on how centrifugal clutches work. This ain't like a clutch in a vehicle. This is an automatic clutch. You don't have an actual cable or a pedal or anything to operate it. These three springs is what controls it and the RPM of the engine. When it's sitting there idling, it's just like it is right now and this is your clutch housing here this slips over top of it like this As you can see right now the bike will be in neutral if you want to call it neutral and there's actually a little bit of play on the clutch here and as soon as the engine starts speeding up the centrifugal force makes these pads sling out overcoming the force of the spring and it, the pads come out here and grab a hold of the the clutch housing just like this and kind of think of it like a, I'm trying to think of a few different ways to explain centrifugal force. First thing that comes to mind is a washing machine. When you open your lid after you get done, you notice all your clothes is around the outside. That's because the, the force of the spinning drum slings it to the outside like that. And this may seem over simplized, but it's a, it's a way to explain how it works. Like a yo-yo, if you spin it like this, it's the same force that keeps it from falling down like that. Like when it's straight up and down, it's the same force that does that, the centrifugal force. It's about the most simple clutch there is. This is another one here. This is out of a off a regular uh, mini bike or a go-kart. This has a number 35 chain on there. Fits a three-quarter inch shaft like a five horsepower or like a five horse Briggs or a six and a half horsepower Honda. Something like that is what this will fit. And this actually has metal pads in this. This is asbestos, just like brake pads or actual clutch material on a vehicle. But the, it works basically the same. But the pads itself are metal on this one. You see this one's got a bit of a bearing problem here. But uh, the pads are actually metal. And they sling out and grab a hold of this outside drum on this. And weed eaters and chainsaws have basically the same thing as this inside there. You notice you sit there idling, your trimmer head don't turn until you get it throttle and it starts turning well that's a centrifugal clutch in there working what that is and same thing with the chippers a lot of chippers have that that way when you start you can start it easy and then when you give it throttle it engages the chipper but uh, they're simple and reliable and these pocket bike clutches always go out for some reason they don't they don't last too long on these but uh, of course I run it in the grass they don't help any if you run it on pavement or race them it holds up a lot better but like I said, we're going to start it up here, and I'm going to actually show you how a clutch works on one of these. So let me get this thing running here. I don't recommend doing this. Uh, if you want to show somebody how it works, just tell them to watch my video. <laughs> You can't get an idea when it when the RPMs raise. You can see it slinging out more, and uh, when that slings out, it's, the pads are coming out here touching this, coming out here touching this pet drum here, making it spin. That's how it works. Well, guys, if you got any questions or comments about uh, how centrifugal clutches work? Leave me a comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching, guys.